Hello, and welcome to the ninth video of the EV Rick Holden Barina electric car conversion. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the removal and the installation of a ceramic heater element into the heater box. Now, I was fortunate enough not to have to take the dashboard out um, because uh, I purchased the Holden Barina. Uh, genuine manual from the GMH collection and um, in this book it describes the actual removal of the heater box from the car uh, without having to take the dash out. Um, I did have to take part of the glove box out and the console in the middle between the two seats. Now um, the following photos that I'm going to show you today uh, show the series of events from modifying the heater core so that I can fit the ceramic element into the middle of that and have the wiring coming out the top. Now um, we'll just leave it there and we will continue looking at the photos now. The next few photos show the installation of a micro switch on the heater box. This was required because in certain combinations of the heater controls, particularly the hot and cold, um, the element would have been enclosed by the flaps and would not allow the airflow through the element. So I had to ensure that this flap was actually open to enable the heater uh, element to be powered up by the 120 volts. So um, I'll just show you those to you now and um, I'll have a little clip of our new puppy as well before we leave. See ya. This is Daisy, she's a Cavoodle. She's only just four months old. She's a lovely dog. 